four amazing intellectuals, and now you've got me, a little old marketing manager. I'll try and use small words. I work in spatial data, which basically means I work with GIS technicians, data analysts, um, all sorts of really intelligent people who use a very different side of the brain to what I do. So when I found out that our market really doesn't understand some of our products, I thought, OK, I can do something about this. Let's shock them. Let's run a series of events about the art of data. So I did what any good marketing manager does, and I called up my creative agency, and I said, we need to talk. I want to run some events, and I need to brainstorm some ideas with you. So we, ta we started talking about how data is a lot like art, and that it means different things to different people. And I thought, OK, there's something in this. About a thousand years ago, I was a tour guide, and I worked in Europe, and so I've seen my fair share of galleries and artworks, and whilst I know nothing about art, I do know that art is engaging. I do know that art stimulates responses, behaviours, emotions, thoughts, and conversations. And these were all things I needed to influence. Now, of course, art comes in many shapes and forms. Art can be exciting and interesting. Art can be fun and surprising. It can be thought-provoking. Art can be moving. And art can be curious, like egg here. But what about spatial data? What do you think about spatial data? Have you even heard of spatial data? Are your eyes glazing over at the thought of spatial data? Are you sitting there thinking, oh my god, she's actually going to talk about spatial data? <laughs> well, I am. Because I love spatial data. I love maps, and grid lines, and geocodes, and address points. I love polygons, I love polylines. I love mil-spec gyroscopes, and accelerometers, and roughometers. But enough technical talk. I honestly believe location is the new black. It underpins everything we do, and helps us navigate the complexities of this world. Spatial data enables innovative thinking, smarter decision-making, and richer, more personal experiences, creating context to content, making it more relevant, saving us time, money, and effort. Now, it senses we've got lots of spatial data. But without human interaction, data is useless. Without a way for people to engage with it, it's meaningless. And that was my challenge. My challenge was how to get people as excited about spatial data as I am. My challenge was how to change perceptions of spatial data. My challenge was how to tell lots of different spatial data stories to an audience just like you who didn't think they needed to hear it. So I turned to art, and I commissioned a series of artworks, data works, if you like, along a spatial data theme. Some of the artworks I enhanced with augmented reality that I'll show you in a minute, so that people would go behind the data and interact with the art. That should be the other way around. Then I hung these artworks in galleries in Sydney, Melbourne, and Brisbane, and I invited people to an exhibition, The Art of Data, where they could come and interact with the art and meet the curators. And guess what happened? Spatial data became exciting, interesting, and bold. Spatial data became fun, surprising, and thought-provoking. This is one of the augmented realities. You download an app, follow our data, and it stimulates 
what you're seeing at the moment. So what we're doing here is showing how data can drill down and pinpoint a location. Handy if I suddenly have a heart attack on the stage and you ring an ambulance. They don't want to know what the nearest street corner is. I want them to know exactly where the advanced technologies building is at Swinburne, not the fact that it's at 401 Burwood Highway. Art became beautiful and moving and memorable. And data became curious and engaging. So this augmented reality is showing how spatial data is used probably in your day-to-day -day life. Getting from point A to point B, you want to know what's the quickest route? What's the greenest route that's going to save me fuel? What are the bridge heights? Because I drive a bus and I need to know how to get under them. Where's the traffic accident that I can skirt around? And most importantly, where's a speed and red light camera so I don't get a fine? So I hope by now you're starting to see that spatial data is more than just maps and grid lines. It's more than numbers and statistics. It talks to us. Spatial data invites us to seek alternative paths, and it allows us to connect. And just like a painter creating a view of the world, spatial data is an art form. So next time someone mentions spatial data, don't let your eyes glaze over. Open them, because there actually is art in data. Thank you.